mix my pan. Pan. two different hot chocolates. What you need is chocolate mug or any kind of mug. You're doing the first one, a Starbucks hot chocolate mix. On the second one, a Swiss Miss mix. A spoon. Optional, but some almond milk. So if you're doing the first one, which is the Starbucks one, you'll need one cup of water. And you're just going to pour that in slowly into your mug. So now you want to open the microwave. Put it in. Put your Starbucks cup in. Close the microwave. And I'm just going to put it in on for 55 seconds. And start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So with the help of my little bother, she is going to open up the microwave and take up my mug. And you want to make sure you have an oven on just in case you have more than 1,000 watts. Enough for you, you can also put it in for the help of my little bother. She's just gonna open it up. So now I'm just gonna take this hot cocoa, which I emptied the contents out because I did not want the marshmallows. But if you want the marshmallows, you can just pour it straight from the um, packet. But now I'm just gonna pour it all into my mug. After I did that, I'm just gonna mix it all up. And the Starbucks coffee mix is kind of like a dark, a dark chocolate coffee mix so if you don't like really like dark chocolate you can just stick around for the Swiss mix which is a milk chocolate. So now you want to take some almond milk and I'm just using this Friendly Farms natural vanilla almond milk because it gives it a little sweet if you don't like dark chocolate but you don't have any other kinds. So I'm just going to add a tad bit inside here and then all you want to do is mix that up. So for the milk chocolate lovers I'm just going to be taking Three fourths a cup of water and bring that into my mug. So now you want to take your three fourths a cup of water and you also want to put it in, just like the Starbucks one, to 55 seconds. 55, which means 55 seconds. Start. But I strongly recommend almond milk for the Starbucks one. So you just want to mix it up until everything is slowly dissolved. So you want to make sure there's no little things like how my mug is. You want everything to be fully dissolved. Mine is actually really hot just because of the fact that I used the same mug for this one and the Starbucks one. So the mug was still hot. So I will be adding almond milk, but I told you this is very optional. But now you're just going to be adding some almond milk in here. And it gives it a nice sweet like vanilla flavor and if you like nuts or something this will give it like a little nutty flavor but it's just perfect and if they don't sell almond milk where you live which is really weird because i think they sell it um basically every grocery store or supermarket i'm just going to be taking some hazelnut um fat free friendly farms hazelnut coffee creamer and just pouring that in there and it also gives it a nutty flavor. So now you want to take your mixing spoon and you just want to mix all of that up together. So this one was actually very much better than Starbucks and I recommend putting the hazelnut. I hope you guys like this video. Please give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And a lot of people have been asking me what are my favorite YouTube channels. I've been loving Alfie Games, Zoella. Makeup by Mini24, Maddie Bragg, and like all those nice social media, Kayla, Gail, RCL Beauty 101, and she is having a 1 million subscriber giveaway, so if you are subscribed to her channel, you should go into that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and bye YouTube. Make sure you subscribe!